Hello, welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Today, I am going to uh, do a top 10 Six Flags coasters video here. Um, I had a top, a, a top 5 worst coaster video put here for Six Flags and the link on the top link. Yeah. But right now, we're going to start here with Scream. Um, and I love this coaster because the floorless coaster is pretty unique and interesting. And um, it has... Um, some nice thrills, some nice inversions. The only reason I don't like it is because it's just in a parking lot. And it's not themed very well, so it's just very ugly um, in that respect. And uh, it's very important to me that um, like, a surrounding, the coaster is surrounding and stuff. So uh, that's why I put it at 10 because it's just in a parking lot. Look at it, it's just parking lot, it's just so ugly. By the way, I put all the links. If you want to see the full ride POVs, I put all the links to these coasters, yeah, um, to the POV videos from these coasters below in the description. This is what happens to be from Coaster Force. But as you can see, it looks again pretty, pretty cool as <laughs> some great inversions. But and just you just again, you're just looking at a parking lot, and it's absolutely horrible. Um, setting and theming wise, but luckily not all Six Flags coasters are like that. This is probably the worst offender when it comes to the parking lot coasters. Maybe Twisted Colossus um, will be the second worst, but that's, this is really the worst, but it's still a, a fun coaster in general. So that's why I'm placing it here at number 10. And as we move on here to number 9, we have Revolution coming on up. The new revolution, and this is cool. I don't particularly like the VR segment of the new revolution. I like just I like that they repainted the ride and um <laughs> like shiny and new, and they have the nice new trains. I don't like the VR or 3D. Um, any rides with 3D or VR, I just don't like them. So I like to ride this without the VR. Um, but uh, because also kind of get motion sickness sometimes, so it kind of just um. It's dis. I don't like. To, I like to know where I am. I, I don't like to be like dis disorientated and stuff like that. But I love. Look at that beautiful paint job. And this has been complete opposite scenery from uh, Scream. It's in the in the woods. It's at the beginning of the park. It looks so beautiful. And again, this video is from Coaster Force. I'll link the full POV below in the description. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Revelation, it's so nice. I actually, and it's a nice coaster for everyone. It's like kind of like the Incredicoaster at California Adventure. Same specs, basically. Moving on to next coaster, Batman. <laughs> this is the clone you can find at just about almost every single Six Flags park. Um, and they almost have the same name. Um, the only thing different about these Batman's Cross Six Flags Park are the color schemes and the. Uh, the locations, but I loved it. It's also not that bad of a coast, or not too tall. People who hate heights, it's not too tall. It's very nice. It's also unique. Again, train style with the inverted coasters. There's not many very inverted coasters here in North America, so it's nice when you always want to have one, even if it's just from Batman. And yeah, um, that's nice version, nice speed, and it's really kind of compact layout. So kind of really feel those turns. It's Pretty fun ride, and it's setting. I like how it's, it's a, a sort of themed queue, so that's nice that they have that as well. Moving on, all over to the next coaster. We're over here, Goliath. What a classic! Um, this was the first coaster of its kind, first hyper coaster, I believe. And then it has a cousin, Titan, I think six miles over Texas. And um, it's slightly taller and slightly longer than this one. This is the, the, again, the prototype. This is from Coasters v Coaster Views, of course. Um, as you see the link below. Um, <laughs> check them out for the full POV. And this is a cool one. It's a known version, but it um, has quite the drop. Um, and I like how you go right into that underground segment. Oh, for the coaster and come pop right back up, and then at the very end, that last that last kind of helix turn. You, know, you can see right down there, um, below the lift hill, 
it's a very intense moment. So much so that you finish even gray out sometimes if you like your first time. It's a very, very awesome coaster. This coaster needs to break down though quite a bit compared to Six Flags coasters. Um, which is very interesting, I don't, know why, I don't know if because it's old, it's 20 years old now, or not, but, but, other than that, it's super cool, and that nice theme, I like the color scheme, as that tropical theme, and it's really fun, just a nice class family favorite. Moving on, here we have Superman, now, Okay, from Krypton is they go you go in reverse. I also like this ride because it's um kind of it's quick, it it's super fast. And I like that they changed up to you go you get launched backwards and instead and then instead of the forwards. And also love the new color scheme they gave it in 2011, I think, when they rebranded it. It was pretty awesome. No, it's nice. That uh, and they refurbishing some of these rides, they should continue doing that with others. Moving on up to the next coaster, here we have uh, Riddler's Revenge. This is a very interesting one because it's a stand up coaster and it's quite a sensation being uh, just standing up on a coaster like that. Let's build some SoCal Attractions 360, as you can see. And, um, it's super cool. I love the Batman theme. I love the, actually the theme of this ride in general. The, from the queue to the actual coaster to the area, goes to the woods, it's in the Metropolis area. It's, uh, it's a really nicely for Six Flags themed coaster. And it's, it just doesn't stop. It really lets up. There's that trim break there, but there's just seven versions. And, again, that, uh, that theming there, which is, again, for Six Flags. Anything, any theming is pretty good, but it just doesn't let up. It's super fun, and um, it's really a massive coaster, one of the biggest coasters in the park. Um, and the B and M, they do fantastic work, and it's a pretty, pretty smooth ride, as far as I can tell. Now this next one is from Coaster Bees again, and we. I uh, it's on my worst list, but it's on my worst list before the retracking. Tra retracking, um, and just because it's on my worst list doesn't mean it's a terrible coaster. I just thought it was a little rough um, before the retracking, but they retracted, and Apocalypse is now like one of my favorites. Super smooth. It's a nice family coaster, and well, family compared to like Six Flags. Although other coasters in Six Flags, it's like something. The whole family can ride on. The retracting is wonderful, and it's it's just super fun to to ride. I absolutely love it, and it's super cool to have the Halloween Horror Nights maze kind of go through the queue, or sorry, Six Flags Fright Fest maze go through the queue, um, as well. But look at it go, it's just hauling butt, and it, again, super smooth. So it's really hauling butt when it's so smooth like that, and. The next coaster is right next to Apocalypse. This guy is West Coast Race. So it's a newest coaster and Six Flags lineup. It's again that nice um, family type of coaster again. Yeah, four launches, um, first quadruple launch racing coaster in the world. It's about 55 miles per hour. It's not too intense. It's not too like kitty either. It's, it's really cool. It's really nice. And um, it's just fun, again, for the whole family to enjoy. And again, they have a little cool pit stop area right here. And then you get launched into the uh, the yellow, the attraction from white to yellow. It goes the same thing, and you're always dueling. Something that um, another coaster on the list says, Twister Colossus, isn't guaranteed. You're always dueling on this ride, which is great. It adds to the fun and the thrill, in my opinion, to have a dueling racing coaster. Um, so that's super fun, and they have really cool, the cool pit stop element, nice, pretty uh, immersive for Six Flags, but also the whole underground area is very nice, I just wish there were some more trees in that area, but the queue building is really good as well. Coming up to number two, videos from Coaster Force, and it's the tallest, longest, fastest flying coaster in the world. Tatsu, you can be a flying dragon here, and it's absolutely beautiful. 
um, this kill streak goes to great scenery. It's extremely intense. And I just love the feeling of flying. I feel like Superman or like a dragon in this case. It is so fun. Um, some of my favorites in the park. It was a, a debate whether this was number two or number one. But I decided I really like number one um, so much. But Tatsu was really awesome. Especially the pretzel loop right here. Look at this great pretzel loop. Incredible. Um, super fun. I love... Um, flying coasters are also not very common. There's uh, inverted coasters are common, but flying coasters I feel are even less common. So the fact that we have them here in six flat at uh, Californians, especially here in LA, it's <laughs> pretty awesome. And of course, number one, hyping it up. Let's hype it up. Six Flags Magic Mountain, where woods meet steel. That's right. West Coast. I'm sorry. Twisted Colossus. Twisted Colossus is my favorite ride at um at uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. It is super smooth. The iBox track is super awesome, and um it's just an incredible ride. What a nice way to save an old Woody. Thank you, RMC, for not just Twisted Colossus but all the other wooden coasters out there. They're the, they literally just saved. Um, this class is being expensive to maintain. Instead of just demolishing it, they found a beautiful way to save it and make it cooling again, which is awesome because for a while they weren't using the other side. They're only using one side of Colossus. So the fact that they were able to make a mobile loop coaster from this, it's really cool. And it's awesome to be on the track twice. It doubles the length of the time, makes the total drive 5,000 feet, which is awesome, and also adds inversions to the classic, um, classic attraction. Like the, the top gun stall, it's nice, and a little barrel roll right there for the blue track. On good days, you'll be racing like you are now, but um, like in this animation, but uh, most days, unfortunately. They're not on most cycles. They're not uh, the way they dispatch them. They're not dueling, um, which is unfortunate um, because it kind of takes the thrill in front of way when you look over and you're not. You're just racing by yourself. But I hope you enjoyed this top ten video. Comment your thoughts. Comment your top ten favorite six facts posters below. And subscribe to this channel for some more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.